Thank you so much, uh, Lucy. It's a pleasure to be here. I hope everyone is doing well today. Um, it could be morning, evening, afternoon. Um, I'm speaking to you from Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I just returned here from uh, living in London for the last six months. So I'm happy to be back home um, with, with my partner, with family and close by. I hope that all of you are doing well and that um, this session, this time that we have together um, brings lightness, brings levity and just lets us kind of move our bodies a bit. So <clears throat> I'm wearing a headset. Uh, this is going to stay on when I move. If you're plugged into your uh, computer now, you may want to switch the audio so that you can um, step away from the computer and be able to move your arms and legs. If you're wireless, you're all set. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, stand up and find a place, you know, in your space, in your room, where you can uh, swing your arms and, and be sure that you're not going to kind of hit a piece of furniture or a person or make sure that the floor around you is, is clear so that you have uh, some space to move. Um, this is also a, a really great time to in, in invite children in if they've been kind of uh, moving around and about, they may enjoy this, uh, this, this movement time if that's, if that's the right thing for you. So I've been teaching yoga now for 26 years. New York uh, has been my base and, um, and it has always served me um, in various different stages and, and times in my life um, through you know, all different um, emotional states. Uh, I know that each of us just has, has uh, their own process with, with dealing with what's happening right now. So we're gonna do something that um, was introduced to me decades ago. And it's, um, it's a game, or I should say an exercise called Seven Shapes. And uh, I've been doing with this with my friends in meetings and events for years. So Seven Shapes, um, we count the number seven and we shake our arm, our hand, our elbow, our arm. And then we count to seven and we shake the other arm and then we do the same thing with one leg and then we do the same thing with the other leg. So we do this counting downward until we get to one. So seven, six, five, four, three, two, and after the last one, strike a pose. Okay, so let's all do this together and kind of like just loosen up. We've been sitting, um, we've also been very focused. So this is just gonna shake it out. And do this in whatever language you want. Maybe you're gonna count in English, maybe you're gonna count in Spanish, maybe you're gonna count in Hindi, maybe you're gonna count in French or Italian or um, choose, choose any, any language to do your counting in. Okay, right, everybody bounce a little bit, let your arms shake, let your legs shake, and we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, 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 one. Ah, okay. So I hope that loosened you up and it got some blood flowing and maybe even your heart rate up a bit. Stand now with your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart and let your weight kind of shift a little forward and backward. Might even find yourself letting your weight shift from side to side. See if you can come to a place where you're weight, the weight of your body is balanced evenly between both legs. Exhale completely. I can feel my breath moving. You can bring your hand upward toward your chest and sternum area. 
let's say for this exercise, we're going to touch this part of the body. Gently tap now. So just tap the sternum, which is this long bone here. It doesn't have to be a hard tap. It can be nice and light. It can even be soothing. You can tap up to a collarbone on one side, and come to the middle and on the other side. So why are we tapping here? We're tapping just to bring some sensitivity to this area. And go ahead and release your hand. And as you breathe in, breathe in as if you can still feel your hand there tapping. Let your chest kind of rise and expand. And as you breathe out, release your shoulders, your elbows, Release your arms all the way down to your fingertips. So when there's feelings of fear or anxiety that come, this area of the body around the sternum and chest tends to tighten up or roll in toward itself. So we're gonna continue with this now and bring some opening and some space there. And roll your shoulders backward. We're just going to focus on this direction of the shoulders. We often have the arms kind of forward in front of us, particularly when we're working at a desk, also when we're carrying or we're holding children. Much of what we do is in front. So let's roll the shoulders back so that the upper back can become a little firmer and support the lift of the chest. Just do this a few more times, inhaling as you take your shoulders up and back, and then exhaling. And then once again, bring yourself back to a still place, arms resting by your side. Turn your palms forward, revolve your arms completely now so the palms start to turn toward the sides, and that turning comes all the way up to the upper arm Again, turning the upper arms so that the shoulders roll back. Breathe in and raise your arms up. And then breathe out and release your arms down. Again, do this a few more times. Your pace may be slower or quicker than mine. Breathing in, raise your arms up. And breathe out, release your arms down. And once again, raise your arms up and release your arms down. Now before we continue, many of you may be barefoot in your house, but if you're not, take a moment and just take your shoes off or your socks off now so that you can feel your toes on the surface of your floor. And I'm here with a carpet underneath my feet and I'm kind of using my toes to curl and grip the carpet and activating the feet. So when we're inside all day and we're not moving as much as we're used to, the very periphery, the feet, the hands, they start to kind of contract. So the flow of blood isn't really going all the way out from the center to the tips. Now pull all your toes up and let the weight of your body shift backward into your heels, spread your toes well. So that lifts the kneecaps up and the thighs up. See if you can keep some of that grip in your legs, that firmness in your legs and then spread and widen the toes, pressing them back down onto the floor. Bring your arms out in front of you now, stretch your fingers forward, your fingertips forward, and raise your arms upward. Now in this stretch, we wanna see if we can lift the waist, 
the sides of the chest upward and make the whole trunk longer. And then release your arms back down. Let's do one side. So go ahead and raise your right arm up. And then see if you can raise that arm further up so that all the ribs here along your right side expand. How long can you reach from that right foot all the way down to your fingertips? And now let's take a side bend, sliding your left hand down your leg, bending yourself to your left. And on an inhalation, come back up and release your arm. Now before we do the other side, and you may even notice this when you look at me, look at the difference between where my right arm is, my right hand is, where the left one is. You see how much more space there is between the leg and the arm. This whole side of the chest now has opened. Okay, so go ahead now and raise your left arm up. Again, pressing your left foot down, stretch all the way up lengthening all the way to your fingertips. Make that whole side long, open up the ribs. And then as you exhale, bend. Bending now to your right side. And on an inhalation, all the way back up. And release your arms down. Go ahead and roll your shoulders back again. And exhale completely. Okay, do one more standing like this. Join your feet together. Bringing everything in close. Interlace your fingers so your legs are close. Your fingers are interlaced so they're web the webbing of the fingers is knit, your hands are closed. And then take your arms up. And I'm just bending my elbows to get around my headset here. But then see if you can stretch your wrists up. Firm the elbows and use this stretch to lengthen your spine. Press your feet down and lift the wrists up. Okay, and then exhale, release. And then change the interlace of your fingers. The palms forward. And on an inhalation, take your arms up. And again, pulling yourself out in both directions. Release the arms and let your arms come back down. Okay. I'm going to turn myself to the side here. You can see from the side, interlace your hands behind. Roll the shoulder bones back again, spreading the top of the chest again, and then extend the arms. So you firm the elbows, move the wrists down, and lift the sides of the chest up. And you can explore just pulling your arms away from your body a little bit. You can even widen your feet and then forward. Let your head release to do that. Okay. And then inhale to come up <clears throat> and watch here. So I have a chair here with me. You may have the chair that you're sitting in, a shelf, a couch, a piece of furniture. You're gonna put your hands on the edge of that. Again, whatever it is, a table, a, a counter, couch, a chair. You're gonna put your hands on the edge and walk your feet backward. So your feet are staying underneath your hips. But now you can stretch your arms and legs and this is gonna lengthen the sides of your trunk, but it's also gonna help you release the lower back. If you've been sitting for long periods, your spine can get compressed the lower back area can tighten up. So press the thighs back, press the hands forward to stretch out the back. And raise your head up and walk all the way forward again. Okay, let's do that one more time. This is something that you can do throughout the day. If you need one of those stand up breaks where you've been sitting for too long and you kind of find your <clears throat> mental energy kind of getting tired, this is a great thing to do. So once again, bring your hands to the surface that you're 
pressing down into, and then walk your legs back away from that surface. So your legs are stretched back, and then if you need to bend the legs a little bit just to release that pull in the back of the legs, do so, and then stretch. Okay, and then raise the head up and come back. Now I'm going to show you something that we can also do with this chair. So you can do this sitting on a chair. You can see I put the back of the chair to face the screen because I want to, you to see me turning toward the chair. I'm sitting sideways and you can sit so that the right side of your body is facing the chair. So if I were to do that, mirroring you so that we're doing the same side here, the right side of my body is facing the chair. If your chair has a back, you can place your hands here. Otherwise, you can place a hand on the outside of your thigh and the other hand on the seat of the chair. This also works if you just sit on the edge of a couch. So this is the position. So we're going to start here with the hands on the thighs. And as you inhale, lift the sides up again. So that area that we stretched before, lift up the sides. And then as you exhale, turn to face the chair. Again, one hand can be on the leg, one hand could be here, or you can have your hands on the chair. On your exhalation, turn yourself. So you use the arms like this, where the hand that's on the chair, right, is pulling toward the body and the hand, the other hand is pushing into the chair. So one hand is pulling, one hand is pushing and you turn. And then release and you can spin around to the other side. Yeah. Both hands on the chair again. On an inhalation, lift the sides and press the feet down with the sides of the trunk up and on an exhalation. And now you would be pressing your left hand into the chair and pulling the right hand toward you. Not too much force. You don't want to crack your chair or do something like that, but you are using, and I'm showing here again, using the arms to help swivel, to help turn the waist, the ribs, and the chest to face the chair. Okay, and then you'll release. And let's do this one one more time. I think you'll get more out of it the second time. So spin around, exhale. Twisting like this, these seated twists can also be very calming, very quieting for the mind. You may find yourself just sort of settling down even more. You take your hands to the chair. On an inhalation, raise the sides up. And on an exhalation, turn. And inhale, lift the sides. Lift the spine up and exhale, turn. So I'm turning my whole chest toward the back of the chair. And on to the second side. Go with the chair, inhale, and then exhale, turn. Inhale, lift the sides again, lift from the waist up to the side ribs, all the way up into the armpit and turn. Let your collarbones widen, your shoulders relax. So you're really turning the waist, turning the ribs, turning the chest. And release. Exhale completely. Take a few deep breaths here. As you inhale, feel the breath moving now potentially right in more in more spaces of your trunk. You feel the breath in the sides up to the top of the chest and collarbones, maybe even here in the back. Okay. Let's stand up now. So we we started standing. Now we did something sitting. And now we're gonna come down onto the floor. So we're gonna come onto the floor with your feet hip width apart, seated, and go ahead and lie on your back. So as I lie on my back, I move my buttock toward the heels, 
And then I roll down so that the pelvis, lower back, is making contact with the floor. Bring your hands now onto the abdomen so that you spread the palms, separate them so they're not on top of each other, the hands, but they're on either side of the abdomen. And just let your breath start to settle. Let the breath fully kind of empty and release in the abdomen. So often if there's, if there's stress or tension, any kind of gripping in the body, the stomach tightens, the abdomen tightens, and the breath becomes shallow. As you inhale, see if you can feel the breath inflating as if you were breathing into the back of your waist. I'm sitting up now just to, I know I can't see you, but I'm imagining you all lying there on your floor and having these few moments of quiet with yourself. The breath is ever present it's always with us and it is a primary tool. We can use it at any moment to transform, to shift our perspective, to actually calm our nervous system, quiet the mind. This particular area of the body that we're bringing our attention to the back of the waist, sort of where the bottommost ribs are, where the diaphragm is connected to the spine. Can you inhale as if you were inflating like two balloons at the back of your waist, so much so that you can feel that part of your body widening and spreading along the floor, making contact with the surface beneath you. And then as you exhale, see if you can make your exhalation a little longer than your inhalation. Again, this isn't about kind of forced breath, you want to be sure that you're not gripping in your throat, your tongue, relax your facial muscles. Relax your facial muscles from the forehead toward the eyebrows, relax your eyelids, your cheeks. Relax your lips, even let your tongue rest in the floor of your mouth behind your bottom teeth. And again, we can do this without sort of touching the face, but even though the lips are together, just imagine your lower jaw right, releasing from your upper jaw. Release any pressure in the jaw near the ear. Now, if you prefer to have your legs extended, you can extend your legs one by one. You can keep your hands on your abdomen or release your arms by your sides with your palms facing upward. This is a resting pose. We'll be here in this resting pose for one more minute. And this minute will be in silence. 
and you'll hear the sound of a gong. And at that time, we'll slowly make our way back up to sitting. awareness to your breath. You can bend your legs one by one if you've straightened them. And gently turn and roll to your right side. your hands to press into the floor, raising yourselves up. And you can choose now to sit in a seated position if you wish, or to stand and sit again on a chair. So the components of our practice today or that we did something just to let the body move shake it might be a three minute song your favorite song and you just kind of dance for three minutes just something to get your energy moving and then when we do standing positions we are stabilizing our legs getting the energy to flow up and down and from the center outward to the tips Sitting up helps us to be more aware when we do postures in the chair or twisting, helps us to be more aware of how we're actually sitting at our desks or a computer so that we don't spend hours kind of slumping over, but we continuously refresh our body and our spine, keeping particularly this part of the chest open, this part of the body relaxed. And then finally, this three minute reset that we had just lying on the floor kind of resets the body to be able to come to task again, to be able to come with fresh energy, to be able to come with a positive perspective. So I hope you all enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed reaching you in your homes and Wherever you are, it was a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much, Nikki. Um, and if any of you are interested in going to Nikki's virtual or real, right? You're doing some virtual classes right now. I, um, I'm doing some trainings that, are, that are, uh, are private trainings right now. And there will be more sort of coming now that I'm 
here in New York, so they can connect with me via my website, newsletter, Instagrams, where most of my updates are. Okay, so we're going to send all that info out in our output. So look for that. If um, I think, I mean, I assume based on what I was hearing, this was awesome. Wow, that was amazing. I think everyone will. So thank you again, Nikki, oh, so much. Glad everyone did. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.